Prince William has received another title aside from being a Duke of Cambridge. He triumphed over his wife Kate Middleton, brother Prince Harry, and sister-in-law Meghan Markle to be named the sexiest royal. Express said the Duke of Cambridge got the sexiest royal title based on research. According to reports, the survey was focused on the naughtiest tweets about the royal family and heavily preferred Prince William. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle came in second and third, respectively. To establish which royal family members are the hottest, the lingerie boutique Pormois examined the approximately 115,000 tweets about them. The source mentioned that Lady Amelia Windsor and Mike Tyndall made the top five list. It is said that 1,200 tweets were sent concerning the future monarch. The tweets taken into account include I absolutely love this man and Prince William is amazing, Express added. Despite having the sexiest husband, Kate Middleton didn't place in the top five. Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie were also left from the list. However, it wasn't the first time somebody had thought the future king was attractive. He beat out Hollywood stars in 2021 to win the title of sexiest bald man, according to the source. The findings, however, caused some controversy, with some claiming that other men, such as Stanley Tucci, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Jason Statham, and Shamar Moore, were more deserving. Dan Barker, an expert in marketing, e-commerce, media, politics, and other fields who have worked for over 100 businesses, provided his opinion on the study. He claimed that it was a publicity stunt, though. The 38-year-old Duke has been described as sexy a whopping 17.6 million times online in blogs, reports and pages found in Google searches, researchers found, part of the report from independent readers quoted by Dan Barker in a tweet. Barker, though, claimed that the action was merely a publicity gimmick by a company named Longevita, which performs hair transplants. According to reports, The Sun published the news. However, only independent and other publications like Lad Bible shared it on social media. Because the prince is newsworthy, he thought the company decided to feature him because doing so would make it simpler for other sources to pick up the story. It also helps that Prince William is super newsworthy at all times, but particularly at the moment, so including him in a study increases the likelihood of a newspaper picking it up, Barker added. As a spare heir born without a defined role, seeking a life of greater purpose has been a long and mostly solitary journey for Harry, going back as far as the day he signed up to the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in 2005 to start a decade-long military career. Stepping away from his royal role, and the tight restrictions of a life within the institution of the monarchy has been the latest step in that journey, finally opening up a world of potential previously unavailable to him as the sixth in line. But not everybody believed in Harry's decision. Few within his own family and the palace thought it was a good idea, many had their own dramatic predictions about how disastrous a move to the US could be. Honestly, he's setting himself up to fail, a very senior aide told me in early 2020. Without all of this, it's impossible, they continued, gesturing to the walls of Buckingham Palace. Spare Air Harry's achieved his dream life, and proved his palace critics wrong.